25 yards, five rounds each. Get them quicker. Over one, two, three, four. If I fired a fifth shot, there's two in that hole and I didn't put a two next to it. So I believe that's there. That's great accuracy. Now Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here, and today I'm hoping to answer the age-old question, does size really matter? Men throughout millennia have been saying, oh, come on, size doesn't really matter. But if you ask 100 women, I don't know. Does size really matter for today's modern CCW EDC carry? So hopefully today I'm going to be able to answer that between this micro-compact that everyone's starting to carry nowadays versus a more foolish size or a compact with a long barrel foolish size pistol. I picked these because this is the lightest striker and the heaviest striker, biggest one, the smallest and the biggest one that I own. This is my backup gun every day. It is carried as a backup gun and occasionally it is the only gun on me when you go to certain places. Usually I'll have something like this primary and also the reason I'm going to be comparing these today is at least for the first uh, couple weeks here until I get a new holster in hopefully from Dara holster will send me one This is going to be my armed guard duty weapon Okay, so I'll be able to compare how much uh, Accuracy speed and everything does it really make a difference and is that difference important enough for most people? What's most important, if you've got something like this or even bigger, a double action heavier pistol, this is 18.4 ounces, uh, this is 26 ounces, and I picked this also because a lot of people do carry that 25 to 26 ounce uh, compact 9mm striker fired pistol. So these are good representations of a current micro pistol and a current kind of compact or even longer barrel. Does barrel length and sight radius uh, matter? 3.2 inch versus 5 inch. Does that really matter? Guys, please, please look at my full unboxing of the Ruger Max 9 Pro. I find it a very excellent pocket pistol. You can put the smaller mag in when you really need that deeper concealment uh, for, you know, Right now, I've been carrying it with the bigger magazine, and that's how I will be carrying it. So I will be able to compare hits from full-size grip to full-size grip, okay? So obviously, physics matters, meaning that heavier weight should give better recoil management. Um, this has probably the best striker-fired uh, trigger that there is, other than the best striker fired pistol you don't know about video that you should go check out that I filmed. And most people aren't even aware that pistol exists. So besides that, this is empty, considered one of the best striker fired pistols with a nice short rapid reset right there. Now, people don't really like the way this feels. I don't like to dry fire this one a bit empty fire but here's my take up but when actually rapid firing at the range and multiple target scenarios that you're going to see i find this trigger to be just fine people that complain about triggers generally can't shoot very well they can't shoot different platforms very well so does it really matter is it going to matter is it going to matter to a civilian no would it matter to law enforcement absolutely law enforcement has to engage at far greater distances on a much higher percentage. Uh, let's look at Tom Givens. Out of 67 incidences of his uh, students, three died because they were not carrying. And that's the first rule of gunfighting is ABC, always be carrying. So if you're not going to carry something like this or a bigger, heavier Beretta or, or SIG or a hammer-fired gun or something, have this, and that's going to handle the biggest preponderance of a civilian self-defense, defensive gun use needs. Three died because they weren't carrying. Everyone else survived and no legal trouble. 87% were in the three to five yard range, three to five yards. So from three to five yards, I'm guessing this is almost just as good as this. And we're going to put it to the test. I'm going to do different drills. 
for the preponderance, I actually like something waistband carried for something in between what this is a pocket carry to me, though I will work from an inside waistband uh, toaster holster today, which you can get a discount with using code Dan the Wolfman. And I'll be using a duty style almost ish three o'clock uh, holster for this because that's what I got to train on right now until I get a new holster in. 4% of his students had to uh, engage from 15 to 25 yards. 4%. 4% were 0 to 2 yards. Now, those are more switched on, people being very aware. But 4% were the 15 to 25 yard range. So once we get 15 to 25 yards, do I think I can hit with this as good as this? I really doubt it, but that is up to a shooter's skill. I definitely want to be able to hit good with this out to 12 yards for sure. But past 15 yards, there's only so much you can probably... Uh, do can you hit as good as this no and so if you want to be prepared for those outlier incidences or third-party rescue or like paul harrell talked about in his um, active shooter mass i'm gonna use the quote right there mass number three video the other day can you do far better with a full size he was using a Beretta versus a chief's special a j-frame yeah, absolutely. Now, he is a very experienced marksman. He can still shoot that pretty well out to 25 yards. Can most people shoot something this small or a snubby revolver out to 25 yards? No, they really can't, but I'm going to put it to the test. I'm a pretty good shooter. I've gone through SWAT school. I'm an armed guard. So let's find out, does size really matter? Now, ballistics does matter. This is still good enough with a 124 plus PHST. This is still pretty good with just about in any ammo when you have a longer barrel. And I like a 124 plus P or a 124 plus P plus. You're getting really good, almost almost 357 Magnum uh, velocities. Does that make a difference in stopping power? Yeah, and the preponderance of civilian gun use, defensive gun use, no. It's close range, three to five yards, because it's either a robbery or sexual assault, and they kind of, kind of come up towards you and test you to see your reactions. Uh, outside that three yards is most people's like, hey, what are you doing? So would it make a difference for most situations, civilian defensive gun use? Probably not, but definitely law enforcement, I want that five-inch 124 plus P or 124 plus P plus, depending on the bullet and your situational needs. I want that much higher velocity or I want a 45. But hey, that's another story. So anyway, guys, what do you think? Ask your girlfriends. Does size really matter or will get this get it done? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, first drill cold. Does size really matter? Full size, duty style, outside waistband, backup gun. I usually don't carry this way but inside waistband appendix from a toaster holster i'm going to do first up the right target's going to be for the full size the left target's going to be for the micro comeback i'm going to start at three yards backing away and right because most people are right-handed so that crosses them over the center line hopefully less accuracy in a close range three to five yard gunfight starting at three going back to about five okay so here we go One bad shot, cold. That's what happens when you're cold. Now, for the uh, left target with the micro compact. It actually hits overall a bit better with the micro compact. I'll pause it there so we can see. I got one really bad hit with the A zone, really, really bad. That is not like me at all. And then a solid headshot in the T box. And with a micro compact, two of them, A zone, but just a little low for my liking. I'd much be happier if they were a little high versus a little low. And headshot still there in the orange. That's pretty good. So, does it make a difference at three to five yards? We'll do other drills in a little bit. You let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to run that drill again, micro versus full size, because we saw when I went with the full size, I had a very bad shot. I mean, it was a hit, but up up there, that's a very bad shot for me. 
And what that shows you is what you're going to be like cold when a real gunfight happens and you're surprised all of a sudden. It ain't going to be static and it ain't going to be like you think it's going to be. All right. So, but because I think that skews the results, you know, that's very atypical for me. I'm going to do the draw again. This time I'm going to alternate each time. This time going with the Ruger Max 9 the first time. Target's over here this time doing a POV kind of bad guy POV. Uh, I'm going to do the Max 9 first, and then I'm going to go full size on the right target after that. Uh, doing a Mozambique failure drill, but while moving, all of a sudden I'm in a gunfight and I'm moving away. <laughs> Boom, 2A zone right by the orange, and headshot perfectly centered. Tools to holster, use code Dan the Wolfman to get... You know, good, I think, 10 or 15%. I think it's 15% off, something like that. All right. Next guy. Duty rig style. Full size. All right, there we go. 2A zone, a little higher, and headshot perfect there. I'll show you guys. So that last time there, this is the full size target. I got one, two, and three. So that's perfect there. And you can see it's probably a little faster, heavier weight, 26 ounces versus 18 and a half for recoil management. I think it's these two on the Max 9 that time and that dead setter T-Box style headshot right there. So is it enough to matter for a civilian three to five yards? Maybe not. Now when you go seven, yards and out or an extreme outlier 15 to 25 yards will that make a difference i'm sure it will all right guys next drill five yards in the micro compact versus full size does it size really matter we're at five yards i'm gonna do what i call fast five that means he's yanking jerking that trigger like you're not supposed to because that's what you're really gonna do in a gunfight that's close range you're gonna be surprised and you're gonna be hammering that trigger Pretty much just as fast as you can safely re-see sight alignment, okay? Pretty fast, right? Instead of the slow fire everybody does or a controlled pair, there's times to do a controlled pair when you're at 10, 12 yards. Are you going to do that when you're at 5, 3, 3 or 5 yards or in? 5 yards or in? No, unlikely. Okay, so I did big, small, small, big, and now we'll start with the full size. And hopefully I can get the times on the range tech range timer. Obviously, one's concealment um, from the inner belt I got on, and one's duty rig. So one's appendix, and one's duty rig outside waistband. So things are a little bit different, but maybe I can get the times. All right. Let's see if I can hear it. Here we go. Call 911. All right, all good. Very good hits. Three right next to each other. I really like that. Pretty much on the spine, one just below that. That's pretty perfect there. I'll show you in a minute. Let's see if I got it on the timer. Uh, it uh, wasn't set to go. Wait, maybe it did. All right. 1.6 for a shot, a little slow. I'd like to be a little bit faster than that. I want to be at 1.52. 1 okay, 1.6, 1.83, 23 split, 204, 21 split, 229, uh, 25 split, a little slower there. I was a little worried I wasn't making good hits. I guess I slowed down, and then 253. So 253 to make all five hits, give or take a little echo sensitivity uh, variation. So 253. All right, so 1.6 to 253 is about 0.93 seconds for the five shots. 0.93 seconds, uh, I believe, for the five shots. All right, let's go with the uh, Ruger Max 9 Pro Micro Compact. And I usually don't carry it this way. I'm doing it this way, and it's on the underbelt and all that, just so we can do the videos today. Let me kind of line up here to make things fair. And... Here we go. Can you hear it? Let me see if I can reset. Ready. Ah, I fired.
fired six shots. Oh, Ezo, no. I think I fired six shots, and you could tell there was a slower cadence. Let's see what the uh, range tech range timer picked up. A very valuable thing to have. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at our hits. Both were good. One was a little bit slower. All right, guys, so I did get some time. So for five of the six shots, the first five shots out of six, because I'm an idiot sometimes, first five out of six were at 0.97 total instead of 0.93 total for the full size. So overall, not a big difference. I think I could usually get faster. I haven't fired the full size in a while. Uh, this is what I'm going to carry on duty for a couple weeks until a new holster gets sent to me in a week or two, hopefully. Um, but... 97 for five shots versus 93. Um, total like 24 split, a 23 split, a 25 split, and a 25 split for the micro compact. You got one, two, three, four, five, all upper thoracic perfect. One, two, three, four, five, and one, but still in that box. A little bit low, but still pretty central to the spot. With a full size, guys, I got one, two, three, and four. It took a while to figure that out. That's two in the same hole. One, two, three, four, five. So tighter group. Um, enough difference to make a difference. I know I feel a little bit better if I have a compact size pistol or a full-size pistol, but a micro at three to five yards where most civilians are going to need it is still very capable if you practice regularly and you're a good shooter. Is it as good? No, it's not just as good. It doesn't look like. And this is close range. Once we go farther range, things might be a bit different. All right, guys, so far the micro compact's been doing pretty good in comparison to the full-size, but I think I'm a above average shooter considering i do it once a week i've been through a squat school i'm an armed guard etc but that's for close range ccw let's move back now let's say you're at a outside outlier but we're not quite way out there yet just at 10 yards usually i feel pretty confident drawing and statically making a 15 yard headshot i'm not sure if i could do that with the max 9 i haven't trained with it enough to really know quite frankly for long distance uh shots so i think what i'm going to do is draw and go three headshots and redraw each time with both platforms i think uh we're starting out with a small, with a micro compact, Ruger Max 9 Pro, 10 yards. And let's see, I got a feeling they might get pulled a little bit. And the problem is it's made for up close and personal with a fiber optic tritium front. And I am in an enclosed range. Fiber optic tritium front, but blocked out rear. Um, you know, and that's pretty wide. So maybe I'll get him in the cheeks as opposed to a different shutdown. Uh, let's see how I do not going to time this one because we're going to do three separate headshots and i can do just body shots at 15 i think is what will be next all right i don't see it not sure where it is Way too long there. Let's see if I was capable in a second. We'll find out. I don't think I got off target. But again, I do train in dark classes on purpose to make things more difficult on me usually. All right, full size. 10 yards. Seemed a good bit faster. More confidence with that longer sight radius for sure. In the left and right. I don't know if I got any misses. Let's see, this is only 10 yards. Now, most defensive gun use, again, for civilians is going to be at a 3 to 5 yard range. Outliers might be 15 to 25 yards. All right. So, we got one, two with the micro compact, and one a little too high. Would that be a shutdown right away? 
I don't know, that might even skim. If you're unlucky, skim on the top of the skull and just go around. So that's not great, but that's in. I'll call those all in. I'm really happy that I got those in, but I think it was quite a bit uh, longer to make sure I got the shot, especially one of those times. With the full size, I got one, two, and three. So surprisingly, with the full size, only one's in the orange. And maybe I was just more careful with the uh, micro compact, two were in the orange. Now I will take that maybe over that. I'm not sure. That might not be a quick stopper necessarily, but I was able to get both hits. Was it a bit longer with the micro? I think it was. The size matter, micro compact versus full size. Now at 15 yards, I'm going to do uh, five shots to the body. Five shots to the body, 15 yards, starting with the full size first. And uh, I'll try to get it on the timer before that dies. <coughs> Here we go. Ready. <sighs> so, breathe, rehost here. Yeah, let's see if we got the time on that. Two and a half to first shot. I should probably be a little bit faster, but given the distance, you want to make sure accuracy trumps speed. Total time, 7.98 seconds. Total time, 7.98 seconds. And yes, we have different holster setups, so a little bit of a variable. But uh, let's see how she goes. Yeah, I could definitely be faster. I should be more... At Set of a second and a half, I should be faster tempo at like one second intervals, probably at 15. That would have been good more at 20 yards kind of thing. All right. Left target, micro compact. Here we go. Ready. All right, let's check the hits. Well, I'll buy that for a dollar. Two on top of each other, right on the orange. Three, four, five. That's two and a half inches, maybe. Yeah, about two and a half inches. But that's really pretty tight at 15 yards. I'm calling that more than acceptable accuracy. Could have been a little bit faster. I didn't get the time. Hopefully, it's still on there. Okay, one, two, three, four. And one, I like that it's a little higher than low, but just outside. One, two, three, four, one just outside with the micro compact. So apparently when I pull the trigger on the micro compact, though the rest of the up close and personal, I think it's the sights that make me so center line. I like that kind of natural pointing uh, sight system for a CCW carry. But at distance here, maybe it's just a little bit off. Actually, physically, the sights could be just a little off, and you'll find that at distance. And more than likely, that's my trigger break issue on these two shots. Uh, this target's looking pretty darn good, other than the one bad we had earlier. So I'm going to walk it back. I'm going to pause it see if I got the time. And 6.72 instead of 7.98, we got 6.72. Now, I did get the first shot off faster. It should have been the other way around, considering the micro was concealed. Um, but that kind of tells you a biasness, that, and that's why I'm trying to be fair and alternate. But the one you do the second time is usually almost uh, always better. So I broke the first shot at 208 instead of 2.5. Uh, 672, so a little, about 1.2 splits exactly, actually, with the micro compact. So that's interesting. Um, I would like to be a little bit faster, but made pretty darn good hits. So, now mind you, I'm a better shooter than most. Will it really make a difference? I might actually stretch this out a little bit further. Let's see. 25 yards, five rounds each. Get them quicker.
pause and see our hits. Micro Compact Ruger Max 9 Pro. One, two, three, four. Did I fire four shots or five? I'll have to look it over. One, two, three, four. If I fired a fifth shot, there's two in that hole and I didn't put a two next to it. So I believe that's there. That's great accuracy. Now I did purposely aim a little bit because of what happened at 15, a little bit on the, uh, the right side and you see that. But that's still only about two and a half inches apart. And I think that's the fifth there. One, two, three, four, five. That's really good. Over here, mind you, I do have aftermarket sights. And I know at starting at like past 12 yards, I have to dip the front sight a bit because I got an aftermarket front sight on it. And I played with the rears and there are glow sights on the rears. Anyway, it is what it is. So I dipped a little too much, actually. And that is something I need to know. So I actually couldn't... Could have just aimed fine here, and they would have been, like, there. And that's probably what I should have done. Maybe I don't need to correct so much unless it's headshot. So, one, two there, three, four, five with the full size. So, I actually got two, a little too low. Now, that's on me and the sights, not really the gun. I've tried to do as fair a test as possible. Speaking of which, everything was shot with hot. European 124 to be similar to training rounds as opposed to PUD 115 with the micro and like hotter with the big one and stuff like that. So I did make it as fair as possible. Overall, let's look at here. I only got one outside. I only got one outside kind of the A box for this style target, which is really amazing with the micro through six different drills. We did the first one twice. Well, guys, the size really matter. Now let's look at the full-size target. All pretty good headshots there. That one's a little too low for my liking. We did have some outliers, and that was the very first drill I did, I started with the full-size, and I think that really put it at the deficit because that's more likely what you're going to do for real. Usually I'm a lot better than that. Hopefully that would still hit an artery, but I am not happy with that at all. And that shows you what's most important is what you do cold because that's going to be when you're moving in a drill like I did from three backing up to five yards doing a Mozambique failure drill while moving. That's kind of what you can expect as you're cold. That's a little worse than I would like. If you've seen my other videos, I'm usually a lot better than that. That's a bit of an outlier because it was the very first shots fired of the day. And I had some yahoos here that were kind of hurrying me up, that kind of thing. Um, also outliers at 25 yards because I had changed the sights and I dipped the front sight too low. Had I just aimed regular, they would have been right there. So that's something I need to know my gear, especially if I'm going to use it for duty. And now I found out some value inf valuable information. As far as micro compact is concerned, I found that at least if you're a good shooter, a micro can be more than capable, especially in that three to five yard range. But I'm surprised how well I did at 15 and at 25 yards with only one a little too left. Now, overall, I think the shot entropy or shot size, if we throw out the outliers 25 and the first shot of the day, this is indeed tighter with the full size. Obviously, law enforcement should be using full size. Obviously, if I was on a SWAT team or something like that, I want a full size. I want a heavier pistol. You don't got to worry about size so much, right, on a duty pistol. I want the better ballistics from the longer barrel and things of that nature. Overall, this does give me more confidence in the Max 9 Pro and other micros of your choice. If you are skilled, I'm a bigger guy with good recoil management. Now, would the difference be far bigger with a newer shooter, a beginner versus an intermediate or an advanced? Yes, the difference is going to be higher. In my opinion, those 18, 18 and a half ounce, like the Ruger Max 9, you're a little bit better served with a 21 ounce, 22 ounce, maybe perhaps with a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus, or I'm a big fan of the Arex Delta. I think most people are somewhere in between the true micros and the more common compact 25, 25 and a half ounce uh, range pistol, something in that in between Shield Plus, uh, Arex Delta, I think most people can shoot those better, or the heavier pistols, the 25, 26 ounce, like the 26 ounce full size I had a day. People can shoot those generally a lot better. But overall, the first rule is always be carrying. So I think a uh, Ruger Max 9, a uh, 365 XL, I really like, but it's a little thin for my hands up high. So maybe with a Wilson Combat Grip Module, maybe that's a little wider up top. That's really what I need with that. 
I think ballistics does matter to me because when you go under three and a half inches of nine millimeter, you really, I really only like Federal 124 Plus P, HST, or even 147 HST, or um, 124 Punch. But three and a half inch to five inch barrels, a whole lot of hollow points in nine millimeter do really well, ballistically speaking. So anyway, guys, I'm Dan the Wolfman. Let me know what you think. Maybe ask your girlfriend. I don't know. There's probably a debate on that one. Does size really matter? Please, always carry, be safe, be prudent, follow laws.